I got quite a few printers running right now, so it's really noisy. I got two CR10 minis that I'm evaluating, two different types. I got this TiVo Tornado that I've been testing, including I printed Matter Hackers Fill A Mint, their sample print. And then I tried some real fine printing, and I learned something about Simplify 3D, which I'm going to show you on this week's episode. And then I had a little fun with the little guy here, and I made a video, but you got to stay to the end to see that. So stick around right here at Filament Friday. Filament Friday is brought to you every week by the generous donations of my Patreon supporters. I found these Gringotts coins, they're from Harry Potter, on Thingiverse by user Jay Tatch, and I knew my wife would like these, so I was going to try and print them, but the detail on this was so small, I was wondering if Simplify 3D could handle it. I'm using the new 4.0, which is supposed to handle thin walls, so I figured I'd give it a try. I loaded it into Simplify 3D, sliced it, and printed it on my Wanho Duplicator i3, and the one on the left is what I got. It was terrible. I went back and fixed some things and improved it on the right. Let me explain what's going on here. So here's the coin. It's got two sides, a front and a back, and then you print both of them and then you glue them together. And that's how you make the coin. And they've got these words at the top, Green Guts Bank and Galleon. So what I did is I just went into normal slicing, 50% fill. Uh, I did do a 0.1 layer height because I knew this was detailed. And then I printed and I didn't think about it. And look at this is what it ended up with. It just takes the lettering right off. A lot of the detail is gone. The word bank is gone. Galleon is gone. The one print's fine. But this is just awful. So this is Simplify 3D 4.0. It's supposed to have thin wall capability. Well, it turns out you got to go into this advanced tab and click on these external thin wall to allow single extrusion wall. And why isn't default to that? I don't know. But once you do that, it improved greatly. I started to get the words, but bank here at the bottom still wasn't showing up. So I went back again to that advanced tab to see if there's something I missed. And sure enough, here at the bottom was single extrusions. Minimum extrusion length, I changed it from 5 millimeters to 1 millimeter, and that seemed to make the biggest difference. Because then when I sliced it again, now everything looked good. Bank was showing up, green guts was full, everything looked good. There was a little bit of a bridge across the S, which I don't understand where that came from. And the edges looked, you know, filled in nicely. So this looked a lot better. Now hopefully it could print as well as this is looking. I printed this on multiple printers. Here's some samples. The red one came out the best. This is on the Prusa MK2S. The two silver ones are on CR10 minis that I'm evaluating, two different minis. I'll have more about that in a future video. The brownish one is printed on the TiVo Tornado, which is a really big printer, so printing small I wouldn't expect to be great. And it's not great, but it's not bad either. Bottom line is, I don't think this G-code file is the best. I don't think Simplify 3D really did the greatest job on this. So I was ready to just get away from this thin wall for a while and try something else, but I'll show you later on the video that this thin wall thing came back to haunt me. I decided to get away from the thin wall for a bit and print Matter Hacker's mascot Phil A. Mint. This is a real popular print right now. It's a test print and here it is printed on the TiVo Tornado. The one on the left is the actual size, the one on the right I upsized to 200%. Now you can see in the face there's some ringing or ghosting around the lettering as well. So the acceleration settings in this tornado don't look exactly right. So it's going to need some dialing in. It's a decent print. I wouldn't say it's great, but it could be a lot better. But it got me thinking, what if I did a little display with filament and the lunar lander? So I found this on Thingiverse from user Emmett. Here's the Lunar Lander in Simplify 3D. It's just two pieces, a top and bottom. The bottom has this rocket cone coming out of it, and I decided to print it on a CR10 Mini, but using my CR10 profile, and just a 20% fill, a 0.3 layer height, because I wanted this to print kind of quick, and it usually prints pretty good on a CR10. I knew there was some thinner walls, so I did a one outer perimeter shell, and then I said prepare to print and look at the bottom of the rocket engine disappeared. This cone here just disappears. So here I had the thin wall problem once again. But at least now I knew where to go to fix it. So I went to edit process settings, I went to advanced, and this time I just changed the 
the external wall type and internal wall type. I didn't change the five millimeters to one millimeter. And when I sliced it, now it showed up. So that's all I needed to do. But I still had to do that because by default that wasn't set. Now I wanted to see if the five millimeter to one millimeter did anything. So I went back and changed that from five millimeter down to one. And then I resliced it. And once I did, it didn't look any different. It looked the same. And when I zoomed in, you could see that it's just a single extrusion wall. It's just it's like vase mode. So that's why it was, you know, it couldn't handle that without those settings. So now I know I'm gonna really be watching this in the future. So now I printed this on the CR10 Mini at the 0.3 layer height, and let me show you how that turned out. I was actually really happy with the results. I definitely got some stringing, so some of the settings are still off. I had to use a heat gun to blow some of that off. But the detail at 0.3 was really, really good. I mean, it was better than, it was like what I would expect out of a CR10. And I haven't really adjusted much on this thing. I'll have more on these printers in a future video, but now I have my Lunar Lander and I could do the picture that I wanted to do with filament. Here he is landed on the moon with the Lunar Lander in the background. And this got me thinking. What would it really be like if Phil A. Mint landed on the moon? enjoyed that that was fun for me anyway that's it for this week I will have more on these printers once I get them evaluated I even I've done some big prints like this Eiffel Tower so I'll have all details on these in a future video a full review of these printers it's uh, it's been a busy week so I hope you enjoyed it if you did maybe check out some of my other videos that are popping up over here if you want to help support the channel down I'm on the patreon if nothing else click on that chep logo and subscribe. I'll see you next week. I'm filming Friday.